Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Giselle Guerra and today we're going to be answering some questions So I'm going to be doing another q and I don't do these as often as I should but today I'm finally getting around to another one I usually ask you on my Instagram It's taking on Giselle to ask me questions on my most recent posts and from there We're just gonna answer them together So go ahead and grab a little snack or anything to eat and we're just gonna have a good little chit chat And we're gonna answer some questions and I'm just gonna update you with some things Okay, so let's just go ahead and hop onto Instagram. So the first question comes from mustache underscore kitty15. Hey, Andrea. So she said, sorry to get personal. What happened with you and Alucine? By the way, much love and support to you, G. Thank you so much. And I completely understand. I've been getting so many questions about this because I know you guys haven't been seeing him in my videos or on my Snapchat. And we're not together anymore. We haven't been for a few months now. I'm not really going to go into the details of why because that is personal. And I really hope that doesn't disappoint any of you guys because I know you really enjoyed those videos that I did with him. I did too. I know I'm going to miss them because they were so much fun and they make me really happy. Um, so I am planning on keeping those videos on my channel. Um, but to answer your question, we are not together anymore. But I really hope you guys understand. It's not something that I just wanted to come out and like say it as soon as it happened. But it's been enough time where I feel comfortable just telling you guys that we're not. And that's about all I have to say. Becca V133 asks, What are you most nervous about the next school year and what grade are you going into? I'm going into my 12th grade year which is senior year and I'm so excited but I'm also really nervous and I guess what makes me most nervous is just this big senior capstone project we have and also anything that has to do with college like applying for colleges and taking my SAT again and things like that just those major things that's what I'm most like dreading right now but um I'm really excited for senior year x dot underscore dot g martinez asked when you had your 15 did you come up with the do-it-yourselves like your centerpieces can you make more of those videos do it yourselves. P.S. Love you and your sister. Thank you so much. I got a lot of inspiration from online, but when it comes to the final do it yourself thing, it just depends on what you have near you. So I didn't have the exact same materials as the videos that I was watching, so I had to improvise and use my own things. So I did end up like with the final design, I came up with those things and I made videos on those. You can watch them because right now I'm part of the Quinceanera.com ambassador program. So I make a video um, once monthly for them. And if the opportunity comes, um, we have specific topics every month. So if the opportunity comes, I will gladly make another do-it-yourself because I feel like I'm a really crafty person and I really enjoy making things. I let 10 Blue as how do you feel about school? And I love your account. Thank you so much. Um, I love school actually. Last year, my junior year, I really, really enjoyed going to school. I hadn't felt that in a while when you just wake up and you're just excited to go to school. So hopefully senior year is like this too. And then Ale 10 Blue also asks, what's your favorite movie? I would like to say my favorite movie which I've told you guys before it's home ac.16 underscore asks where is one place you would visit in the world and why I love your videos much love thank you so much one place that I would visit in the world in the world okay that one's hard um, I'm gonna say the Fiji Islands they look so nice or I want to go to Dubai or I don't know there's so many places I I either want to go to like the nicest beach out there or the most beautiful lit up night city where like at night everything is glowing. Inca underscore aka underscore Erica as how do you prepare to go back to school? By the way, I love you so much in your videos. Thank you for always making me feel happy and better after watching your videos. Thank you so much. How do I prepare for school? Uh, I don't. <laughs> I'm still sleeping late. I have not gone back to school shopping. I go back to school on Friday and I'm freaking out. I guess the most I really do is just making sure that I didn't have any summer homework that I haven't done and just picking out my outfit before the first day of school because I like making it a little bit special. Jen C. Franco asks, what is your current favorite animated movie? It has to be Zootopia. I just watched it and oh my gosh, you guys, it's so hilarious. I would totally recommend it even if you're not like the type to really like like animated um, the kid movies. I think it was really good. Oh, underscore so Grecia as how do you feel about being a senior? I'm also going to be one. What do you want to do when you graduate? Would you ever be friends with a subscriber? Love you, girly. Love you too. I'm excited. Again, I'm really excited for senior year. I can't believe it's already here. Like, I remember being in 8th grade and thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to be in ninth grade next year. I'm going to go to high school and now it's already senior year. It's just so crazy. But I'm definitely really excited for prom, um, all the dances, all the games, all of that. I get really excited going to those. When I graduate, I plan on going to a four-year university getting my bachelor's hopefully something in business that's what I'm looking at right now because it's something that has always interested me and would I ever be friends with a subscriber of course 
course, I feel like I talk to a lot of you guys constantly and I feel like I'm already friends with you. But Rosie Angeles asks, freshman advice. If I could tell something to my freshman self is that it might seem bad at first, it might seem scary, but just give it some time, stay positive, stay open-minded, and just be nice to everyone, be nice to your teachers, get everything turned in on time. I feel like it's impossible to fail a class or do bad in a class if you turn in everything on time and actually put some effort into it. Just be yourself, you will find a group of friends that you fit into, so you just have to put in some effort yourself into getting to know other people. Esmeralda underscore Olvera 15 asks, have you taken any AP classes? If you have, how do you deal with so much pressure? Yes, I have. I took my first AP class, I think, in seventh grade and then I took some in eighth grade and I took some in ninth grade and then I took some in tenth grade um, right now I'm doing like a dual credit thing at my school so it's like the equivalence of AB classes but it is a lot of pressure I completely understand and again I think the best advice is just turn in everything on time and put some effort into it and if you're still struggling you can talk with your teacher and be like hey I'm turning in everything I'm trying my best is there anything we can work out because they'll be able to see your effort with you turning in everything. If you're not turning in anything, they can't really do much for you. Make sure to give yourself breaks when you're doing your homework, when you're working on things. And it's also like a little bit of a rewarding experience, so it gets you motivated to get a little bit more done than have a little break, get a little bit more done until you're done. Okay, underscore Desiree Ruiz asks, do you plan on visiting California someday? If you do, we should hang out. Love you, Giselle. Love you so much. I think that would be so fun meeting up with one of you guys in California because I don't know anyone over there that's the first day that comes to mind that i haven't visited yet that i want to go to california just because a lot of people are over there a lot of things to do and then the beaches and all these other fun things and zia asked do you love me girl i watched like all your videos hashtag number one fan i love you too francia <laughs> That's my friend. <laughs> Is Villa as how do you deal with boy drama or breakups? Honestly, give it some time. I I am a true believer that time heals everything. Even if you're going through the worst things, give it some time. You will be in such a better state of mind. You won't be confused anymore and you'll just be able to deal with things better. Try not to feed into it. Um, just step back a little, give it some time, and everything will fall into place. Alex Jeanette asked, did you think you were going to become so successful with YouTube when you first started? Congrats, Jizz. I love you and miss you a lot. Hi, Alex. <laughs> I miss you too. And you and Edger. Oh my gosh. Okay. When I first started, I had confidence in it. I didn't think it would grow as big as it did so quick. So, yeah, I'm pretty surprised myself. <laughs> Dulce underscore 011, what's your favorite summer memory so far this year? We went to downtown Dallas. I Snapchatted. It was so much fun. I was, like, skipping through the water, and we went to this really known park there, and it was so pretty. I had never been there before. And went on the train, and, like, during the nighttime, we went to the Dallas Museum of Art, and then I had my first Arizona drink. Ugh, I would do it all over again. Ja.Milith asks, what's the best gift you've ever received? I think it has to be my quinceanera gift that I got from my friend Joseph and the reason I love it so much is because he put so much time and effort into it. It was wrapped beautifully, it had like little packages within the big gift. Just the time and effort that I saw put into this gift just blows my mind that someone would do that for me and it's just a gift that I'll never forget. So thank you Joseph if you're watching this. Jacqueline47, are you a dog person or a cat person? I would say I am a dog person. <laughs> And then I just have one question for you guys before I end this video is how would you feel if I opened up a P.O. box? I don't know yet if I should open it. I know I said I would get one. I just don't know when the right time is to open one, but I think it would be so cool. But those are all of the questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram for future Q&A videos and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much and I will talk to you guys really soon. Bye!